Derek, FA Cup replay tomorrow night, uh, and one we're looking forward to as well, I presume. Yeah, I mean, we played really well in the first game uh, at home to Exeter, and uh, we just felt that we should have got through on the day. Um, the amount of chances we created, we hit the bar, we hit the post, and uh, we had a, another couple of you know, very good uh, chances to win the game. Now we've got to go there. They're on a you know, fabulous uh, run of 18 games unbeaten in all competitions. And uh, for us to progress to the next round, we're going to have to defeat them and uh, you know, put an end to that. And we know how difficult a task that will be. But um, we feel that you know, looking at the first game, you know, we can cause them problems. For us to have played the way we have, not just in the first game, but in the games since then and the games around that against opposition like Exeter, who are up there at the top end of the table, high flying, it must give us confidence, the fact that we've created chances, it surely is just a matter of time before we start taking them and getting these results. Yeah, I mean, we've played, you know, Forest Green, uh, Exeter, Swindon and Port Vale uh, in the last number of games and we've competed really well against them and we feel we should have had more points uh, out of these games and we probably should have progressed to the next round of the FA Cup. But, uh, you know, going into this game, um, we've got players coming back from injury, which is, is great. We saw the bench that we had on Saturday. It's much stronger than it has been for, for many weeks, and uh, that can only be you know, beneficial for us in the weeks ahead. must be very encouraging. You touch on there the bench that we had out there on Saturday. Leango comes on and scores the equaliser. We've also got Abuiz, who's, who's not even able to get on. To have that strength in depth and these players coming back from injury, it must be giving you a very welcome headache, I guess. Yeah, I'm delighted. You know, we've been asking you know, for a, a wee while now to get you know, the injuries back and uh, we get to a stage where you know, we look like we're only going to have that one injury uh, going into it. I've obviously got to be careful in how I manage them you know, coming back because um, we want to have them for the rest of the season. And uh, I think that uh, the way that Angol, you know, Issa, Liam Raihau coming back into the squad on Saturday uh, is seen that uh, we have strengthened the squad and uh, you know, possibly um, we're going to have a look at uh, Lavery this morning. Can he travel with us or not? Uh, and that, you know, really just adds to the attacking options that we have. What's the period between the two games look like so far, and what will it look like? We said here they kick off on Saturday away, and now a long trip down to Exeter. Uh, there's not too much time to prepare, really. There's not, but um, there's enough time. Um, I think that um, you know, this morning we'll prepare the players and. Uh, get ourselves you know, tactically aware uh, what's going to you know, happen tomorrow night and then uh, tomorrow at some point we'll you know, have a walkthrough session where we'll uh, tactically get ready for the game and uh, I think that uh, you know, going there tomorrow night it's, it's a, a good venue to go and play on the pitch is in you know, perfect condition and uh, I'm sure there'll be a good atmosphere.